You must have heard people saying that change is a law of nature. But is it actually true? I would say yes, it is. Every day we come across so many changes around us, and these changes may involve two or more substances. For example, if I am hungry and want to eat an apple, what will I do? I will cut it into pieces. This cutting of an apple is a change. Now, if I eat it and my body digests it, that digestion of an apple is also a change. Similarly, we come across so many changes every day: souring of milk, magnetization of iron, ripening of fruits, flowering of plants. All these are the changes that we see every day. Hi, I'm Smita Mathur. I'm a chemistry teacher in Sri Palaji International School, Malad, and today I'm here to take a master class on changes around us. Now, if we have to classify these changes, we can classify these changes as natural and man-made changes, periodic and non-periodic changes, slow and fast changes, and desirable and undesirable changes. But if we broadly classify these changes, we can classify them as physical change and chemical change. Now, what is a physical change? A physical change is a change in which no new substance is formed. The basic composition of the original substance remains the same. the change is temporary and reversible there is no involvement of energy and the mass of the original substances it remains the same some examples of physical changes are melting of ice melting of wax formation of dew crystallization of salt all these are the examples of physical changes now tell me if i cut a carrot is the change temporary no is it reversible no but is it a physical change yes similarly tearing of a paper that is also a physical change why because there is no new substance formed there is no involvement of energy and the basic composition of the substance remains same that is why it is a physical change on the other hand a chemical change is a permanent change that cannot be reversed and the chemical properties of the original substance changes entirely The examples of chemical changes are cooking of rice, curdling of milk, burning of fuel, burning of paper. All these are the examples of chemical changes. A chemical change that involves the transformation of two or more substances to form new substances of entirely different properties is a chemical reaction. There are four types of chemical reactions. Number 1, combination reaction, where two or more reactants combine to form a product. For example, sodium metal combines with chlorine gas to form sodium chloride. That's a combination reaction. Number 2, decomposition reaction, where a compound decomposes to form two or more substances. For example, calcium carbonate decomposes to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Number 3, displacement reaction, where a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element. For example, zinc metal reacts with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Number 4, double displacement reaction, where exchange of ions takes place. When lead nitrate reacts with potassium iodide, it forms the yellow precipitate of lead iodide. That's a double displacement reaction. When it comes to daily life let me give you a very sweet example of one of these reactions and that is very sweet actually and i am talking about caramelization now what is this caramelization caramelization is a decomposition reaction in which we heat sugar and it forms some polymers complex polymers but the taste is really sweet right i'm pretty sure that all of you must have tasted caramel popcorn and butterscotch but there is a difference in the taste and you know why is the difference it is because caramel popcorn is made up of granulated sugar while butterscotch is made from brown sugar and that makes the difference in the taste now let me tell you one more example of these chemical reactions and this is not at all sweet but this is explosive crazy right but yes it is i am here going to tell you about how to make a homemade volcano and it's really very simple it involves the reaction between a carbonate and an acid here we are going to take a bottle which will act like a magma chamber 
we are going to add one third cup of sodium hydrogen carbonate that is baking soda in this bottle and then we'll add one cup of acetic acid that is vinegar and then watch the explosion and this is because of the formation of carbon dioxide gas water and sodium acetate see this is the magic of science and if you also want to be a magician keep learning with mind boss only on z5 want to be the first one to know of the videos on mind boss youtube channel hit subscribe and click on the bell icon also remember knowledge increases when you share it so please like share and tell your friends about the video